Saturday, August 13th, 10.02 a.m. New York time. Good morning, Patreon members. Hope you're doing good this weekend. So we're coming into the middle of the month. We're looking here on the economic data to be released this week for the United States. The red is the most important. So Tuesday morning, Monday, we don't have much at all here. Same with Friday. There's other economic data from other sources, but these are the big ones. That's why I'm showing you these. So Tuesday morning, 8.30 a.m., these top three. And then Wednesday afternoon, this one here. And then Thursday morning, this one here. Again, you go to the website, read about each of them. So the middle of the week, the point is the middle of the week, or I would say, sorry, yeah, the middle of the week, Tuesday through Thursday, is where a lot of the data would be released, where Monday and Friday won't be. Other things certain can make the mark pivot. Point is here, Monday, Friday, maybe you won't be having much of a trending market, or maybe have a manipulation, a pump and dump, or a dump and pump. These days, leading into the economic news and vice versa coming out of them. For day trading, swing trading, let's go to the charts. First, look at the cash index, S&P 500, SPX. Again, I show the difference between the SPX and the ES because, again, the ES trades on a different exchange at longer hours. This is the futures. So here on the monthly chart, again, I said we were in the, almost in the middle of the month, and we're still inside the range. Yellow candle, it's dark candle, solid body, equivalent to red, still inside the range of last month. Interesting. This supply zone here, red horizontal line, coming into that, we knew that was a potential pause or reversal. Be interesting if this does close yellow for the month. Again, lots of time, more than 15 trading day, half the month still. Again, be interesting to see if we're going to have a reversal trend down. If it comes here, could be working for A to B, B to C for a stronger move up. <clears throat> Let me show you my lines. So, low to high, that's a trend. The lowest, speaking of the low from last year, even if I just do from this year here, again, still there, a pullback, B to C, let's put it there, and then the C to D. One would expect, depending on how far the pullback goes, this C to D leg trend could be equal the length of this. Yeah, the markets are looking extremely strong, bullish. And of course you have pullbacks and bulls. So let me show you this too. Let's take this off. If we do again, the A to B and B to C, if we, oops, pardon me. If we do a retracement, pullback, whatever we want to use, say two to the 0.382 retracement. And that typically means the trend back up if it reverses off here, or if it reverses before here, that typically means this C to D often equals the same distance as here from A to B. If that happens, well, obviously that'd be taking out the all-time high from 2022, which is the all-time high, the S&P 500. Yep. Lots of time could happen because we have geopolitical events coming to this year and next year, but it could easily happen. The weekly chart. Red, lower, low, lower high. And the red coming into a prior, or sorry, midpoint of right here. Again, this big impulse move up, broke out of this consolidation. Strong body. And again, that was a bearish candle. One would expect that would happen there because it was in that supply zone. Now here, we're starting to see big wick on the top of this candle. So that means there was a retest up there, rejected it. And then broke down lower. And then look, that wick here, buyers stepping in. People are willing to put money up to buy here. But again, they did not get to close inside that body. It was still leaning bearish bias. 
on this time frame. And these green lines right here, demand zones, prior buyers here are very strong. So maybe we'll have a flush out, a panic selling, bring it down here maybe, potential buying area. Panic selling, just obnoxious people selling without the uh, <laughs> chart reading, I guess. So lots of times I show you when there's panic selling, it's the opportunity for us to come buy call options. Panicking is not good. But again, it gives the other side, the contrary, and it's the opportunity to profit off of it. Take it to the daily. So we're inside the gap now on the S&P 500. The trend is still down. Let's zoom in some more. Yep, made a lower low, lower high. We also closed below that body. You can see staircase pattern, lower low. Small trading range this past week, really small. Again, the bears selling off are getting tired. All that energy they've been using come down here. So we're going to look for... It's also... Nope, it didn't trigger it. It's just shy of a few points from actually triggering, filling that gap. So we'll see what happens this week. Again, looking for opportunities for a possible bounce up here. Vehicle trade calls. And vice versa if we have a reversal down here. So that is the... SPX, let's go to the ES now. Weekly chart, same thing. Daily chart, same thing. Let's go intraday now. Looking on the four hour. 